All right, good morning everyone. I'm Helen. This is a 45 minute all levels vinyasa class. And today the theme is all around your nervous system. So we'll explore both activating and calming through our practices of asana, breath, and meditation, and really listening to and paying attention to the signals that our brain sends to our body. So we will start lying down. When you're ready, you can find your way onto your back, either legs extended, or if you prefer, take the soles of your feet together, your knees open wide to the side, in a reclined butterfly shape. As you arrive, take a moment to close your eyes. Tune in to what's happening in your body. Notice your thoughts, your emotions, anything else in your experience right now. Bring one hand to your heart, one hand to your belly, and start to take longer, deeper breaths in and out through your nose. If you can, really direct your breath into your belly, finding a sense of expansion. And starting to tune into that more calm, connected, rest, digest side, our parasympathetic nervous system. We often think of this yoga practice as a great way, and it is, to come into that more calm state. There's also practices that do more activation, more energizing, that will turn on our sympathetic nervous system, what we might know of as a flight or fight. I also think of it as a get stuff done. So for now, let yourself be calm and present. Take a couple more rounds of breath, and if there's any kind of intention that you want to set, now is a good time to bring that to mind as you breathe in, and send that out as you breathe out. Bring your hands to the outside of your legs, draw your knees together. Place your feet on your mat, and they might go a little wider, and just gently windshield wiper your legs right and left, giving a little release to your hips, hip flexors, maybe even sides and low back. And then come back through center. Bring your shins onto an imaginary tabletop so that your knees stack right above your hips. Yeah, and place your hands on your belly again. Use the connection of your hands on your belly to really tune into your deep core muscles. So think of the corset muscle, transverse abdominal muscle, engaging, hip bones coming a little closer together like you're buckling a seatbelt. Keep that engagement, reach your arms out wide in the T. Take a deep breath in as you are. Use that connection to your core as you exhale, let your knees fall to the right without touching the ground. Beautiful, back to center as you inhale. Exhale, take that to the left. Move slowly with your breath and really send those signals to your body. Inhale back to center. Exhale to your right. Really nice. Back up, breathe in. And then take that to your left. One more time in each direction. Inhale to lift. Exhale to your right. Let your knees gently fall with control. Back to center, breathe in. And then over to your left. Come back towards center. Hands behind your knees. Start to rock forward and back. The length of your spine will meet in a boat pose. Navasana, staying connected to your core. So using the power of your mind-body connection, ultimately your nervous system talking to your body, sending signals, receiving them back. Yeah, hands can stay behind your legs like me, wide like Sam. Lift your heart, relax your shoulders, relax your face. Make sure your breath is smooth and steady. That beautiful control of your breath helps us to stay connected and in a more calm state of your nervous system. Full breath in. Exhale, release your feet down. Hands behind your back for a reverse tabletop. Press into your palms, your feet, lift your hips, full breath in. And exhale, slowly lower down. 
cross your legs or find any comfortable seat. So if you want to prop yourself up on a block, a bolster, or sit on your shins, you're more than welcome to. Close your eyes and bring your hands to your belly once more. Feel your breath here. So now that we're getting a little bit more warm, a little bit more connected, we'll start to turn on our nervous system, move more into that get things done state through a bellows breath. And I'll explain it first and then guide you through it. This is gonna be a more forceful breath in and out. It's known as Bastrika. Similar to our breath of fire, Kapalabhati. You're gonna think of using your diaphragm as you inhale to really draw air in, press your belly out. As you exhale, draw your diaphragm back and up to force the air out. We'll do 10 rounds and then stop to notice how you feel. Let's start with a big breath in through your nose, out through your mouth, just let it go. Seal your lips, big breath in, breathe it out forcefully. Forceful inhale, forceful exhale, eight more, find your rhythm. Five, four, Last one, back to a regular breath. That might be ujjayi, that may, might be a simple breath in and out. Hands can stay your belly or come to your legs. Just notice maybe your heart's beating a little faster, maybe you feel warm, and your experience will be your own. Next inhale, reach your arms to the sky, sit a little taller. As you exhale, fold forward over your legs. Let your head and your neck relax. Forward folds tend to be more calming, especially for our nervous system, coming back to that more grounded inward focus. And then gently walk your hands back in. Hands behind you, a little funky, only if it feels okay for you. Press into your hands, your knees to lift your hips. Little counter stretch. Maybe you gently tilt your head back. Slowly lower down. Swap out your legs, find the opposite crossing. If you're in any other kind of seat, feel free to stay as you are. Reach both arms to the sky, breathe in. Little side bend, side bend as you exhale, right hand down, left arm stretches up and over. We're just gonna flow with our breath side to side. Inhale through center, hands high. Exhale to your left. Twice more each direction, breathe in. Breathe out to your right. Inhale through center. Exhale to your left. One more time with your breath. It might be slower, it might be faster, and it might feel nice to hold. Listen to the messages that your body is sending you. Really tuning into your own nervous system experience. Breathe in, hands high if you're with us. Exhale, gentle twist to your right. Right hand behind, left hand across. Taller spine, breathe in. Twist as you breathe out. So our central nervous system is made up of your brain, your spinal cord, kind of that main area that receives signals. Peripheral nervous system made up of all the nerves in your body that send messages to your brain. Come back to center, unwind hands to the sky, and then twist in the opposite direction. Left hand behind you, right hand across. Tall spine, inhale, gentle twist, exhale. Notice how this feels. and then slowly unwind. Reach both arms to the sky, breathe in. One more time, fold forward over your legs. Let your head and your neck go. Try to keep your sit bones grounded, rooted to your mat, to the earth below. And then slowly lift yourself back up. Take that little counter stretch, hands behind you. Press into your hands, your knees, lift your hips, lengthen the front side of your body. Lower yourself down. Make your way to tabletop hands and knees, however you want to get there. And then a little child's pose. Hips to heels, knees can be together or wide. Arms can stretch out in front, wrap around, take any other variation, a little prayer behind your head. Just like our forward fold, for many of us, child's pose is a nice grounding, calming posture. A place to reset, to reconnect, to notice. a little inventory, a little scan of your physical body, 
of your experience right now. Just notice what's going on. Next inhale, tabletop, hands and knees. Exhale to a high plank upper push up. So you might have to walk your feet back. Well, you will walk your feet back, <laughs> lift your knees. Find that strength. Feel free to drop your knees back down if you don't want to be in a full plank. Take a micro bend in your elbows, slide your shoulders out of your ears. Notice what you have to turn on, activate, and let those signals from your brain go to those body parts. Find that strength and that mind body connection. Full breath in. Exhale to downward facing dog, hips to the sky. Any movement you like here, feel free to take it, pedal out. You might shorten your stance. Inversions, like our folds forward, our downward facing dog, or even moving into something like a headstand or a handstand are really great for our brain. Help to bring fresh blood there. Help to flush out, kind of reset your nervous system in that way. We're gonna take a little flow, plank to down dog. As you inhale, shift it forward. As you exhale, right back to downward facing dog. Try to move from your core, your center. Inhale, shift it forward. Exhale, downward facing dog. One more time, breathe in. And breathe out. Inhale, bend your knees, look forward to your hands. Exhale, you can step, hop, float all the way up to the top of your mat. Lift halfway, lengthen, inhale, slide your shoulders out of your ears. Exhale, fold, relax your head and neck. Rise up, reach up, stand tall, hands float high. Palms together in front of your heart, exhale. A moment here to close your eyes, reset however you like. Adjust your clothing, your stance. Let your nervous system notice the signals that are being sent to and from your brain. Inhale, arms to the sky, stand a little taller. Exhale, forward fold, flat back. Lift halfway, breathe in. Exhale, hands down, step your right foot back and lower your right knee down to your mat. Reach both arms to the sky, breathe in. Exhale, maybe you sink a little deeper, but notice what happens with your pelvis. If it's really tilting forward or kind of dumping, can you come out a little, engage your low belly to find more stretch in the front of your right hip flexor? It might also be helpful to turn on your right glutes. A little engagement there. You can stay with your hands as they are up to the sky or bring them behind your back, interlace your fingers to open your chest, your pec muscles a little bit more. Maybe a signal to your brain, to your body, to lift, to open, to smile. Release your hands if they're bound, reach up to the sky, breathe in. Exhale, lower your hands down to your mat. Three-legged dog, lift your back knee, send your left leg up and back, breathe in. Open up your hip, bend your knee, and any movement here, circles, bend, straighten, roll your ankle. If you wanna flip for a wild thing, you're welcome to. Try to remember to stay in tune and in touch with those messages your body's sending you. This practice more than anything is about awareness and about presence. Release your foot down, you can stay. You can take a vinyasa to reset. High plank, upper push up as you breathe in. Knees can always lower. Exhale, chaturanga halfway or to your belly. Up dog or cobra, breathe in. To downward facing dog, breathe out. Nice deep inhale through your nose. Lion's breath, simhasana as you exhale, stick out your tongue, make a funny face. Again, breathe in. Stick out your tongue, let it go. A nice release. Inhale, bend your knees, look forward. Step, hop, travel to your hands, exhale. Lift halfway, breathe in. Fold, breathe out. Stand tall, sweep high, inhale. Exhale, palms together in front of your heart. A little pause, close your eyes, adjust. Back to center. Inhale, hands overhead. Exhale, dive forward, Uttanasana. Halfway lift, breathe in. Exhale, hands down, left foot steps back this time, lower your knee down, and then both arms to the sky. And please feel free to adjust. So as we did last time, you can go a little deeper with your hips. You can find an engagement through your glutes, 
Even out your legs, engage your core, relax your shoulders, stay or hands behind your back interlace and try the awkward thumb on top. We tend to do things by habit or what feels natural. Notice the signals your brain gets. We do things a little different. Breathe here. Let's take one more round. If you've got your hands connected, inhale arms to the sky. Exhale, we'll all take hands down to the ground. Find your way to three-legged dog, lift your back knee, right leg moves up and back, and then open your hip, bend your knee. Allow some movement, a flip for wild thing if you went there on the other side or wanna try it here. And then you choose when and how you release back to downward facing dog, simply letting your foot come down or taking the flow, our vinyasa little sequence to reset. Use the power of your breath, the power of your presence to really feel what's happening in each moment, each shape, each transition. Knees down, tabletop. Drop your forearms down, we'll sit up for dolphin pose. So a little trick I like to do is hands to opposite elbows. Make sure my elbows are no wider than my shoulders. We find a little bit more stability and safety if we stack shoulders over wrists. Hands can be parallel, so your arms are making an 11, or you can always take your hands together. That part is okay, just watch elbows are not flaring. Yeah, and then tuck your toes, lift your hips. You can start by looking back to your feet. Notice if your shoulders like to crunch up to your ears, can you draw them down your back, really using your lat muscles? Tell your brain to engage shoulders away from ears. Maybe feet walk a little closer, maybe one leg to the sky. If you feel warm and wanna play with moving upside down, you're welcome to, nice Sam. But all of that is just extra, as long as you're feeling and breathing and listening to those little messages, our focus for today, you're doing it exactly right. Give yourself a couple more breaths wherever you are. And know that child's pose is our release. As you're ready to take a break, you can drop your knees down, press yourself back, release your hands in any way that feels good on your shoulders, your back. Breathe here. Really nice. Come to your tabletop, hands and knees, and find a little thread the needle. Shoulders over your wrists, hips above your knees. Reach your right arm out and up to the sky. Roll your wrist, full breath in, and exhale to thread to your left. Drop your shoulder, your head down. Left hand can stay, reach in front, wrap behind. For a little extra brain challenge, you can start to extend your left leg straight back, a little extra balance challenge. But you're more than welcome to stay grounded as we are. And <laughs> breathe here. To unwind, left hand by your face, unthread right arm out and up, counter stretch, big breath in. Exhale, release, and switch sides. Left arm to the sky, inhale, roll your wrist. Exhale, thread to your right shoulder down, head down. Right hand stays, reaches, wraps, maybe right leg extends. Notice where you feel sensation, that's your body talking to your brain, it's sending signals through your nervous system. Pain is maybe a reason to come out or to change or that something isn't happening the way that your body wants it to. And when your sides feel even, you're ready to unwind, right hand by your face, unthread left arm out and up, big breath in. Exhale, release your hand down. Downward facing dog, tuck your toes, lift your hips. We'll take a good five breaths here. Really feel what downward facing dog feels like. Long line of energies moving through your body, sending signals through your nervous system. Inhale, bend your knees, look forward to your hands. Exhale, step, hop, float, top of your mat. Halfway lift, breathe in. Fold, breathe out. Rise up, reach up, hands high. Exhale, palms together in front of your heart. Inhale to chair pose, sit deep into your chair. 
Little peek down, make sure you can see your toes. And that's a nice visual cue to send your hips back, your weight into your heels. And I personally like a neutral spine and chair. So you're not sticking your butt way out. You're also not scooping your tailbone under. You've got a little curvature in your low back, but there's not pain. So adjust as you need, lift up, engage your low belly, support your low back. Breathe here. <laughs> One more inhale. Forward fold, exhale. Lift halfway, breathe in, lengthen your spine. Exhale, hands down, right foot steps back. Rise to a high crescent lunge, both arms to the sky. Breathe in. Exhale, open arm twist, left, left hand back, right arm forward. Stay as you inhale. Stay as you exhale. Inhale, exalt, right arm to the sky. Hang out for your breath out. One more breath in, and then a little funky. You're gonna sweep your right arm back, your left arm forward and up, and come to stand, both arms overhead, right foot meets your left. I'm gonna challenge your brain a little. Exhale, cactus your arms, a little back bend. Hands to the sky, breathe in. Palms together in front of your heart, breathe out. Second side, inhale to chair. Exhale, adjust. Find that shape that works for you whatever that means today. Less about what it looks like, more about what it feels like. That awareness, the breath. One more inhale. Forward fold, exhale. Lift halfway, breathe in. Exhale, hands down, left foot steps back. Find your high crescent lunge, arms to the sky. Breathe here. Inhale. Exhale, open arm twist right, right hand back, left arm forward. A full breath in and out. Squeeze your inner thighs, hug to the midline of your body. Inhale, exalt, left arm to the sky, right hand down your back leg. One more breath in. As you exhale, left hand back, right arm forward and up. Do a big sweep, stand up, hands to the sky. Exhale, cactus, bend your elbows. We'll try that one breath to move, it doesn't matter what it looks like, hands to the sky, breathe in. Palms together in front of your heart. Inhale, chair pose, sit deep. Exhale, forward fold. Lift halfway, breathe in. Exhale, hands down, right foot steps back. Rise up, reach up, crescent lunge, inhale. Exhale, open arm twist, left hand back, right arm forward. Inhale, exalt, right arm to the sky. As you exhale, windmill your arms, left arm forward and up, right arm back and down, arms to the sky, stand. Exhale, cactus. Hands high, breathe in. Palms together, breathe out. Last side, inhale to chair. Exhale, forward fold. Lift halfway, breathe in. Exhale, hands down, left foot steps back. High crescent lunge, inhale. Open arm twist, right exhale, right hand back, left forward. Exalt, breathe in, left arm to the sky. Exhale, you're gonna stand forward, left hand back, right arm forward and up. Exhale, cactus. Inhale, hands high. Exhale, palms together in front of your heart. Take a moment here, let go of whatever happened or didn't happen, worked or didn't work in your mind. Notice any sensations tingliness, warmth within your body. Blink your eyes open, reach your arms to the sky. Forward fold, exhale. Strong core to support your low back. Lift halfway, breathe in. Exhale, hands down, heel toe your feet out wide. Find a squat, malasana, heels in, toes out, sit low. Palms together in front of your heart. Imagine opening up your chest, Bringing your heart to your thumbs, press your elbows into the inside of your knees, knees right back into the inside or outside of your elbows. Feel the length through your spine. Breathe here. One more inhale. Forward fold, ragdoll as you exhale, hands down, hips high. Hold opposite elbows or hands to the back of your neck. A little sway side to side, a little release. Let gravity do the work here. 
Imagine all the stuff you don't need, physical, energetic, emotional, just dripping off of you, being absorbed by the earth. Let your hands release to the ground if they're lifted or connected. Heel toe your feet in toward each other. Halfway lift, breathe in. Forward folds, release. One more halfway lift, inhale. This time exhale, hands down, step your right foot back. Rise to high crescent lunge, inhale. Exhale, warrior two, open to the side, back heel pivots flat. Find your feet and really notice with your mind, with your eyes, <laughs> telling your mind where your body is in space, that proprioception. If you'd like, hands to the inside of your knee, your left knee, make sure it's more over your pinky toe, not collapsing in. You can always bring your hands to different body parts like we did with our core earlier to tell them to turn on or to bring your awareness there through that sense of touch. Keep breathing. Reverse warrior inhale, reach it up and back. Stay as you exhale. Another big breath in. Exhale, cartwheel your hands down. Frame your front foot, lift your back heel. So you're in like a low lunge shape. Right hand plants, left arm to the sky for a twist. An option to stay like that, option to drop your back knee. For me, that feels better in my low back, so really tune in. If you'd like, you can find your back foot if your back knee is down. Take a little quad stretch. There's another variation you wanna take a horizon lunge, something else entirely, you do that. Try to keep shoulders out of your ears. Notice where in your body you feel a twist or you feel sensation, something happening. One more big breath in. And then exhale, release to lizard pose. Hands inside your left foot, shimmy it out to the side. And I'm gonna stay with my knee down. You're welcome to lift your knee, make this a more active shape. Yeah, Sam's got her forearms down. She's got a little bit more space in her body than I do this morning. <laughs> you can find a twist here. You can play with your left hand below your calf, working your shoulder underneath. You can make this more active, as I said, kind of squeezing hips toward each other inner thighs toward each other. You can make this more passive, releasing, relaxing, surrendering. Breathe here. If you've got your back foot, release it down. Tuck your back toes, lift your back knee if it's lowered, and take a step forward, right foot outside your right wrist, back to your Malasana squat. Heels and toes out, sink low, hands to your heart. A lot of repetition and side to side balancing or trying to balance in our yoga practice for good reason. We're building memory, muscle memory, nervous system memory, going back hopefully to nice shapes that you can find in other areas of your life. Full breath in. This time exhale, right hand in front of your shin, out to the side, left arm to the sky. Open your chest. Shoulders down your back. If you like, you can take a bind, half or full. Yeah, left arm behind your back. For that, it helps for me to turn my thumbs down, an internal rotation of your shoulders. Bring it back to center, palms together in front of your heart. Breathe in, and then to the other side. Left arm in front of your shin, right arm to the sky. Open it up, stay or that bind half or full, maybe thumbs turned down. As things feel even, release back to center. Hands down, hips high, heel toe your feet in toward each other. Two halfway lifts, inhale, lengthen. Shoulders move out of your ears. Exhale, fold. Again, find even more space through your spine, like you're grabbing a pencil between your shoulder blades, find that engagement. Exhale, fold. Left foot steps back. Rise to high crescent lunge, arms to the sky. Open to warrior two, exhale. Take a moment here to adjust. First time on this side, but it might feel familiar because we were here once more on the other side. Settle in. Where can you relax? Where can you engage? Where can you find a better balance for yourself? Legs stay the same, reverse warrior, reach it up and back, breathe in. 
Stay as you exhale. One more inhale. Exhale, cartwheel your hands down. Frame your front foot, lift your back heel and move into your version of a twist. Left hand down, right arm to the sky. Maybe knee down for more support stability. Maybe you take your back foot in your hand for more of a quad stretch, hip flexor sensation. Breathe into it. Find one more big inhale. If you'd like some more time, you're welcome to stay. Exhale, release and make your way into your lizard pose. Right foot shimmies out to the side. Palms down, forearms down, knee down or lifted. Try to feel that long line of energy through your spinal column, whatever's happening with your head, your neck. A huge reason why spinal health is so important is to keep that message center where things go all the way up to your brain free of obstructions, letting everything move smoothly in the way that it needs to. Notice your breath here. If it's ragged or choppy, can you smooth it out? Let's take one more round of breath. Palms down if there's somewhere else. Lift your back knee if it's lower. Take a big step outside your left wrist. Find your malasana once more. Sink into your hips. Open your chest. Option to stay. Option to take this to crow pose. Maybe crow to a headstand. If you want to play and you can support your neck. Maybe you take it to a seat. Meet us in a child's pose, a downward facing dog. We will all eventually find a child's pose together. If you're taking crow, visualize it. Use that power of your visualization, your brain, telling your body what it sees, what it wants to do, and then letting your muscles follow. So nice, Sam. If you haven't yet, begin your transition to a child's pose or a seat. And find a moment to rest, reset, check back in. Back bending shapes like camel pose, wheel, bow pose on your belly are also fantastic to open up for your heart space and also tell your nervous system to kind of let go of this protection and holding mode. Find a little bit more openness. We also know that improved posture improves our mood, so it has a direct effect with our mental health, our brain health. So by really opening up there, we create space physically and mentally. So we're gonna take a little camel flow. You're welcome to come to a seat and watch. I'll guide you through it, but I'll do it one time to show. As you inhale, you're gonna slide your hands forward, find a high plank, upper push up. As you exhale, downward facing dog, hips to the sky. Inhale, lower your knees, find a tabletop. Exhale, draw your hips back, slide your hands back. I'm gonna do one arm, so right hand to my low back, left arm to the sky, one arm camel, lift your hips, breathe in. Exhale, lower your hips back to your heels. Switch sides, left hand to your low back, right arm to the sky, you're welcome to grab your heel, inhale, lift, and exhale, lower. And then you'll repeat it, so feel free to join in. Inhale, high plank, slide your hands forward. Let this be a moving meditation. Exhale, hips to the sky, downward facing dog. Inhale, tabletop, drop your knees down. Exhale, hips back, slide your hands back. One hand or both, low back, other arm to the sky, breathe in. Little camel or one arm camel, exhale to lower. Switch sides, lift, and exhale, lower. Shift it forward, high plank, breathe in. Downward facing dog, breathe out. Inhale, knees down, tabletop. Exhale, hands slide back, hips pull back. Right hand to your low back, left arm high, one arm camel, breathe in. Exhale to lower. Switch sides. We'll take it one more time all the way through and hold those camels when you get there. Inhale, high plank. Exhale, downward facing dog. 
Breathe into tabletop. Breathe out, hips back, hands back. Right hand to your low back. If you want full camel, you can take your hands to your heels both. Hold here, try to really lift from your heart space. Press your hips forward. It might help to engage your glutes, especially where your hand is, feel that connection. When you're ready, slowly lower down and switch sides. Left hand to your left glutes, low back, heel, right arm to the sky. Doesn't have to be super deep for me. It's more upright than a back bend because that's more supportive for my low back. Find what you need, breathe. When that feels like the right amount of time, slowly lower, either to a seat or to a child's pose, something to release to find a counter movement. Close your eyes. Breathe into any sensation. One more round of breath. Shift forward to high plank, upper push up, and lower all the way onto your belly. You're gonna take your arms out wide in a T shape. Turn your head to look right so your left cheek is on your mat. Right hand by your side and then roll onto your left side. Right foot can come behind you, can always stack on top wherever you feel balanced. Right hand can stay, press into the ground, find your low back, find your heel. Yeah, breathe into this. Getting again into your chest, front of your shoulder, those places where you might hold on energetically, find a little bit more openness. Beautiful. One or two more rounds of breath. When you're ready, come back onto your belly, take it to the other side, turn your head so your right cheek is down, right arm extends, roll onto your right side. Left hand is a little support, left foot's on the ground. Take the version that works for you. Breathe deeply and fully. And let yourself open up by telling your body to release, giving it permission to let go. Use those brain signals to your advantage. When your sides feel even, back onto your belly. And we're simply gonna roll to our backs. You're welcome to flip over from there. You can swing your legs around if you prefer to have your head in the opposite direction. Feet on the ground, knees to the sky. Find a figure four, right ankle over your left thigh. And you can stay with one foot on the ground, you can hug it in, you can twist. I'll give you a lot of freedom here to decide what is best for you right now. And with your mind, imagine sending your breath into those areas that need more space, as if you could kind of floss them out or flush them out with your inhales. Perhaps that allows your exhales to release all that stuff or to go deeper or to change. Typically our inhales are more activating and our exhales are more calming. So you can also play with the length of your inhales versus exhales. Now as we're coming to the end of our practice, it might be more appropriate to do a longer exhale, but you decide. Eventually make your way into your figure four on the second side. Take your time into the different variations that you like, that your body's craving or requesting. And once more, use that power of your breath and a directed breath with your mind to do what you need to find the space, the release, the sensation that's most appropriate today, right now in this moment.
take a couple more rounds of breath. And if it feels right for you, back to center. Any last shapes, a bridge, a happy baby, knees to chest, or knock kneed feet wide, knees fall in toward each other, all of the above or something completely different. Give yourself a few rounds of breaths, a few rounds of breath to find those shapes, find those movements. And eventually settle into your resting pose. Shavasana could be on your back, more traditional, on your side, seated. Anywhere that your nervous system, your energy feels calm and supported. Eyes closed or soft, or maybe even noticing the things around your space. You're more grounded and more present. We'll end this practice with a little alternate nostril breathing without using your hands. So traditionally we use a hand to close off our nostrils. It probably won't happen perfectly and that's okay. I'll invite you to guide your breath with your mind through your nostril. So you're gonna inhale through your left nostril, exhale through your right, inhale through your right, and then exhale through your left. So swapping with each breath out. Inhale left, exhale right, inhale right, exhale left. Continue like that. If it works for you, inhale left, exhale right, inhale right, Exhale left. Find your pace. Try not to overthink it. Just notice how this feels for you in your body right now. And what messages, signals your body is telling you and how you can adapt and adjust accordingly. you're still breathing, alternate nostril, let that go. Begin to invite a little bit of movement, a gentle rock of your head, a wiggle of your fingers and your toes. Feel those movements get bigger, roll your wrists, your ankles, stretch your arms over your head. And then with your eyes closed, make your way up to a seated position. You can turn to one side, you can rock and roll up. Sit up tall, relax your shoulders down your back. Place your palms together in front of your heart and one more time, check in, scan your physical body, your mind, your emotions, your energetic body. Notice what's happening right now. We'll bow our heads in silence to close out this practice. Awesome. Thank you guys. Have a beautiful rest of the day. Let me know if you have any questions, comments, requests, and I will see you soon.